It's important to note that the peace talks had not stopped. It's true that uh, after the events in Nagorno-Karabakh last year, uh, there were no meetings on the level of the leaders and there were no meetings, I mean physical meetings, on the level of foreign ministers. But uh, nevertheless, the sides were exchanging uh, their comments of, on the draft peace treaty. It's a positive uh, development that first uh, the both leaders met in Munich, facilitated by Chancellor Scholz and uh, two days ago, as you mentioned, uh, the foreign ministers met. Uh, our assessment is the following. During the last years, Armenia and Azerbaijan, on different um, foras, have agreed the basic principles of peace, basically. Which are those principles? Uh, it's the mutual recognition, or rather the reconfirmation of the mutual recognition of each other's territorial integrity based on the Almaty Declaration, and I want to remind that this declaration um, uh, was adopted by 12 of the post-Soviet states when uh, the Soviet Union uh, dissolved, and uh, the, the major point of this declaration was that the borders between the former Soviet Socialist Republics uh, become interstate borders. Uh, the second principle agreed was that the delimitation and further demarcation uh, of the border, state border between Armenia and Azerbaijan would be um, conducted on the basis of the Almaty Declaration. And the other major issue was and is connectivity. And it was agreed that the all regional communications will be unblocked uh, on, based on the principles of sovereignty, jurisdiction, equality, and reciprocity. We think that if we manage to, to basically write in these principles, which have already been agreed in the peace treaty, peace is more than achievable, and it's achievable in a very short time frame. Unfortunately, I can't say that uh, we have managed to do that. From our side, obviously, we are ready uh, and we are doing everything we can to reflect these principles in the peace treaty. We haven't been seeing so much eagerness from the Azerbaijani side, that at least that's our assessment. Mm -hmm. But we hope that uh, we will reach this. So this is the, our assessment of the situation. Mr. Hajiev? Thank you. 